Hi guys and um, welcome back to the channel. Um, unfortunately lately I've been suffering from a rusty manhole and today I'm going to have to try and fix it. So here it is. It's more of a rusty manhole surround. As you can see, you've got to be careful if you drive over it, it's going to rip your tyre. So, so I'll play with this. I'll take you along uh, just because it might be interesting to someone. You never know. Uh, I'm still having fun. Oh, I'm around again. I'm still having fun uploading videos and playing with my cameras. Um, I'm doing a mountain, very, mountain biking video at the moment, um, and I started updating. Well, sorry, uploading it on Sunday morning. It is now Wednesday morning, and we're at 57 percent. So I don't know. I know. I know we've got rubbish internet around here. My upload speed is below 0.2. But um, I, I don't know, I don't know what I've done, so we're going to have to wait and see how it turns out, if it does. So let's crack on with this, and uh, I'll do probably lots of um, oh, fast, what is it called? Time lapse is the word, time lapse. And uh, oh, might be of some interest to someone, might be helpful, we'll see. So here it is, I've just removed the cover there, a couple of screwdrivers, um, and it's pretty bad, you can see it's all shot to pieces that actually fell in. I just put a bag in the bottom just to stop any detritus going down there. So what I'm going to start off with, so I'm going to cut around the edge and give us a nice sharp line to concrete too. I'm going to use this, the 9 inch grinder, it's got a, a diamond blade in it. And um, I've got some PPE there just to protect me. Uh, careful using these bad boys, especially the old ones, they haven't got a clutch in them. Um, a few years ago I had one try to take my trousers off uh, on rundown, so uh, if I can find a picture I'll point it in there. Um, yeah, just be careful, the older ones are a bit more brutal. I'll set you up on a tripod and we'll go time lapse. Oh, here's some replacement drain cover. Clark drain, uh, it's a 10 ton, and it comes with a, a plastic surround. Right, so I'm going to put the cover back on so I don't fall down the old one I'm cutting it. Next, I'm going to break up the surround with this bad boy. Right, and here we are all cleaned up, uh, all I've done is just uh, chip down a bit below the surface here to give the concrete a bit of girth I suppose. So 
So uh, next I'm just going to mix some um, mortar up, which is uh, ooh, what three parts sand, one part cement. Then I'm just going to bed this on. Let's pass it around. And uh, it's not quite the same size, but that doesn't matter. Um, but I am going to struggle with height a bit here. So the, the chamber is actually quite high compared to the concrete, and especially over there. So we're going to have a bit of a slope. It might be a little bit raised, but I'm not particularly worried about that. It's in the middle of my drive, so that's all right. So we've got our mortar mix. Just going to bed just down to the bricks and level it. Right, and that's sat in pretty good and level. Um, we've got a bit of to paint for this one to um, We're just going to try the, uh, the cover on just a sec. Hopefully, we'll move it around you know, just to make sure it didn't twist it. I'm going to leave that to set off for a bit and have a cup of tea. Right, we're back. Just had a little cup of tea and watched a bit of the Goon Squad as well. So, I've now made uh, or mixed up some uh, some concrete. There you go. Basically, all I've done with that one it is I've used ballast, so it's five part ballast to one part cement. Um, if you want to do it with sand and chipping, I think it's one cement two chip in, three sand, if I remember rightly, but check up on that. Um, oh, well, also, I mean, I had all a few bags of this stuff around. Um, you can buy ready mix stuff from lots of places like Wix and that, and that'd be perfectly good for a little project like this. So let's chuck some in this round, hope I've made enough, and smooth it out. That was a long way out. Let's make some more. Back with another bucket. So here it is, um, all I've done is just put a bit of texture by tapping around the edges. It's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's good enough for what it is. Um, I'm going to leave this for a couple of days, just because it's pretty cold here at the moment and I don't want it to move. So The materials I used was about uh, a shovel full of cement, um, I used a bag of ballast, 
and probably two shovels of uh, of sand so you know that's the sort of thing you want for this size surround um, like I said earlier you know for a small project don't be scared to go to builders merchants and get just the ready-made or ready mixed cement uh, or mortar and ready mixed concrete a lot easier mix it in a bucket off you go job anybody can do and oh and if you hire tools like the big grinder and stuff make sure you do get your PPE your goggles visors earplugs and everything it is worth it yeah hope Right guys, that's it for today. I hope this was uh, of some use to you and some entertainment if you want to see me fixing me driveway a bit. But there we go. Anyway, if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers then.